Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today I am going to talk to you about my brand new car which is an E46 M3. Right off the bat, you may notice that this is not an original M3 because of the not wide back fenders, the not wide wider front fender with the grille right here. The hood is different, the mirrors are different, so yeah. Basically, this is a 318 with a S54 and completely everything underneath also is uh, swapped out from a M3. And in Norway, it's very important that this is legal because you cannot drive a car with a legal engine. So everything is like checked, approved, everything is good. For me, this is seriously just incredible owning and yeah, I will call this an E46 M3, even though it's not an original one, but in my eyes, I still get the experience of a M3. The only way to see that this is an M3 is to see in the back at the diffuser. That's when you see that those four exhaust tips. So yeah, but this has a 3.2 liter S54 with 343 horsepower and it pulls, it pulls really hard. The thing I do not like about it is that it, it's way too quiet. It doesn't make any noise at all. Take a listen to this. cars are pretty expensive but since this is not an original M3 and it's not have those wider fenders and it's not like full M, M on the outside and the inside I got it a lot cheaper so I could actually afford it and as you also can see the interior is completely stuck and the steering wheel is stuck it has those horrible wood trim lists in the interior so um, yeah a lot of things are going to be swapped out and changed on this car but uh, in general I am really really excited about this car because I think it looks just stunning. It's so cool to see those big brake discs on a, like a normal chassis, you can say, because it's, yeah. Oh, I think it's really, really cool. And yeah, it's, there's a lot of small stuff I want to do to the car. And I will also completely change the interior to a full M3 interior with M3 steering wheel. And um, yeah, so there is a lot going down with this car. And I'm generally really excited to make a lot of videos with this one because I've never owned an M car before, so it's so cool to be like, S54 is my first M car, so that's, that was just insane. I'm overexcited. Well, this is, seriously, I just picked this up last night, and uh, that's when I bought it and everything. So this is the actual first day with this car. So I would like you guys to join me on my first day. I will now wash it completely down because it's quite filthy and see how good the paint really is. And I will change some things in the plate. I will have to rip off these because that looks pretty, it is and uh, yeah so uh, let's take it for a short drive if you are not a subscriber already please subscribe and hit that notification bell and uh, yeah let's go for a drive okay let's go the first thing I notice while like driving this car is that it's so powerful it's really powerful in the high rpms but it's also really powerful down low let's try it Oh, it feels so good. It's so much fun. It doesn't sound like, it sounds good and it sounds like S engine because it has that really aggressive, like sharp sound to it when you give, uh, when you have the throttle to the floor, but it could make a little bit more noise in my opinion. <laughs> I 
did not mention this earlier, but it is a manual uh, transmission, and uh, for me, that's very important to have the manual transmission. I could choose the SMG, but that's kind of an automatic in my eyes, and I think that's kind of boring. That's my personal opinion. No hate on the SMG. That's probably a very good gearbox. I have no idea, but. I prefer manual because I like to have the clutch and then I can like decide how I want to drive the car myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so powerful. It just wants to slide. <laughs> okay, now we are ready to give it the first wash ever in history by myself. So let's see how clean it actually gets. <laughs> Before I wash it, I will take off these. I do not think those look good at all because they are like in not good condition at all. I'll take those off and I will take off the plates. I'll change that and uh, put on some black stickers right here. I dried it with some fast glaze and uh, yeah so next thing I'm gonna do today uh, is to install a new player like a new CD player you see right here it's the original one and uh, I got no radi radio reception on it and uh, no Bluetooth no I AUX nothing for now I'm just gonna mount something I found at home because I did have some E46 parts and a CD player at home. So I'm gonna install that right now and uh, yes I know the wood looks terrible. I have I'm going to wrap this in like carbon fiber or something and uh, the steering wheel will be changed, interior will be changed, yeah a lot of stuff will be changed. But let's begin with the CD player. Okay the first thing I need to do is remove this wood list and then it's one bolt there and one bolt or screw there to remove this whole unit. Okay, now the list is off. I simply just used a flathead screwdriver like this and just went underneath and just pried it open. So now these are off and the two bolts I was talking about was right there and right there. So now this is supposed to be loose. It is. It's quite big actually. So here we go. That's it, now it's out. Just pry open that contact right there and then wire up my own CD player at high right here. To mount this kind of player, this is not as big as the other one you see here. It will, when I get this in, it will be leftover space right there. But luckily, you can buy this one. That's a list I will have over here. And I just found this in the basement. I can't still, I can't believe that I found it. But I remember that I had this in my previous E46, so I kept it and now I know why. If you guys are doing this yourself, uh, it's very important to get this like connector or converter from the original one right here to this one, which you can connect further to your own player. Unfortunately, I forgot, uh, I did not forget this, but I forgot to bring the right player. So this player does not hook up to my E46, unfortunately, but uh, I will uh, find a new one later. I have it at home, so I'll just find that and then it will be installed. Okay, let's uh, try to make this engine shine a little bit more than it's doing right now.
Oh yeah, it's shining! Looking so good! S54! Okay, this is grey. Maybe this will also help. Who knows? Ah, sweet! Okay guys, now I have washed the car and I have put some fast glaze on it and I have washed the engine bay and I've been driving it a little bit and uh, I'm really getting to like this car, it's seriously just amazing. But now I'm gonna end the episode, I really hope you liked it and uh, subscribe with notification if you are not already doing that and I hope I see you in the next episode and I am very excited to continue this M3 project. So I hope you guys will join me on the way and I will see you later. Goodbye.